Well, we had some uh, unfortunate uh, incidents with our guinea hens, baby guinea hen chicks, uh, guinea fowl that I purchased a few weeks ago. Um, as of yesterday, we only had two remaining that, that were able to survive. I'm not going to get into the details of what happened to the other ones. Um, but I yesterday I made um, I turned this dog kennel into a temporary guinea cage to where I can just keep them and I put chicken wire here and to keep them from escaping the two remaining ones and then uh, I was gonna um, huh, yeah I was gonna just keep them for one the two remaining ones keep them for one more week and they would be strong enough to, to let them run wild they can live up in the trees and um, and hopefully remain on our homestead. But unfortunately, last night we got a predator came into this cage, was able to dig underneath the thing, which they're known for doing, and and pretty much uh, demolished uh, the other guinea hen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one to a neighbor's. I have two choices. I talk to my wife. Do I just let him go now a week prematurely and let him be wild now today? Um, a or B, keep him in the cage for another week and the predator sure enough to come back tonight and kill him that's that's not an option or c take him to a neighbor uh, a few miles about five miles down who has um lots of wild fowl on their property including a big pond for their ducks and geese and lots of feathery friends that he can be associated with rather than release him today all by himself instead of with his whole family that he came here with we're going to choose option c and i'm going to take him out capture him today him or her and uh release it um yeah, well actually i'll knock on the neighbor's door introduce myself give them a gospel track and see if they want a guinea hen they don't want a guinea hen i'll just release it in the wild period but uh, i'm sure they'll take him uh, or her uh, let me put the camera on capture this little guy come here little buddy They're loud. They, ooh, that hurts my ears actually. They make, they make excellent um, watchdogs. They're like peacocks. When a predator comes on your homestead, um, they will warn you that there's a threat on the property. And unfortunately, one of the remaining survivors got taken out last night by one of those predators. Why? Because I was put as I put him in this cage just for one night so that was a lesson learned I'm sorry little buddy I'm gonna let you go okay because I want you to survive they fly really good um, and he's ready to actually fly to be honest with you he can fly into these trees now if I let him go uh, but I'm gonna take him to a neighbor's they got a lot of meat on their bones much more than chickens they are very very meaty and unfortunately, the predator last night probably realized that. Hey, buddy. I'm going to let you go. You know what? Maybe I should let him go here. Man, it's a hard decision to make. This is why the scriptures say we have dominion over the animals. But the problem is, is you got to be careful dealing with wild animals you don't want to domesticate them too much hey buddy and you don't want to tame a guinea hen too much either because you want them to be uh offensive and defensive let me pet you yeah. I'm going to just let him go here. No, I can't do that. I'm going to take him to the neighbor's house. Give him to a neighbor. They've got many, many wild birds over there. And that's what we'll do. We'll take him to the neighbor's. And he can live with feathery friends.
Well, I like these. I haven't met these people. I went to the door. I wasn't going to videotape the contact, but uh, they've got a gate. They got motion detectors. And uh, anyways, they got a motion detector in, in the front gate, and the gate's closed. It's not locked, but it's closed. And I, I'm out of respect. I don't think they want people opening their gate and going on their property. That's actually what I want to get for our property. I don't like strangers knocking on our front door, so I'm not going to do that to them. But I did leave a gospel track on the outside of the mailbox, and I'm going to take the guinea hen and let it go. There it goes. Oh no, it ran the. <laughs> it ran in there. It ran in there. I I let it. I tried to let it go into the gate so it can enjoy all of the feathery friends over there. Oh my goodness. That is just too much. It ran back out of the gate and into the tunnel. And it's probably over here. Yeah. Here's the other end of the tunnel. But this is a better environment than our own property because there's so much wild fowl over here. So I'm happy that it, the bird's here. That's the end of that story.